A post on Snapchat gets a Pinellas County Patrol deputy fired. The message read, nothing like almost shooting someone to set your head right, LOL. God, I hate people with knives. 23-year-old Austin Callis was terminated this morning, and tonight the sheriff is calling what he did and said reprehensible. Sheriff Bob Galtieri said he's never seen anything like it. A deputy joking about shooting someone. You don't need to be carrying a gun and a badge if you're going to make comments like that. Sunday, 23-year-old Deputy Austin Callis was sent to a family trouble incident. There were reports of a person armed with a knife. But on scene, Galtieri said there was no weapon. The situation was handled, and later that day, Callis posted this to Snapchat. Nothing like almost shooting someone to set your head right, LOL. There's a couple things in there that are very troubling, uh, but not the least of which is the LOL are laughing out loud at the end. You know, that to me is telling. Outrage grew on social media as the photo circulated. Some asking, this is the kind of cop Pinellas County Sheriff's Office hires. You know, that's not what we're about. It's not what we do. Callis was put on administrative leave. Thursday, he was terminated. He never offered any explanation to alleviate or mitigate the concerns that I have. In fact, Galtieri said Callis even tried getting legal advice on what recourse he might have against the person who reported his snap. That person noted Callis had recently broken up with his girlfriend. He was posting other things in uniform, in his cruiser. He'd been drinking a lot. Callis was hired in November as a probationary member of the department. He'd only been out of the field training program for a few weeks. Galtieri said it wasn't Snapchat that ended his career so soon. This has nothing to do with social media. This has to do with a statement that he made uh, to somebody else that is very concerning, reprehensible, and shows a state of mind of somebody that shouldn't be a law enforcement officer. We tried contacting Callis for his side, but were unable to reach him. Since he was only a probationary deputy, Galtieri said that is why the firing happened so quickly and there wasn't a longer formal disciplinary process that permanent employees get. But given the situation, he said that likely would not have made a difference in the outcome.